Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is MacHeads101, and, um, uh, a couple people requested, or one person requested how to, um, change your icon, um, for any application. So, um, because previously I showed how to make some of the Adobe icons, and, I don't know, maybe someone made a cooler one, made one that they think is cooler, and they want to exchange it. So, <coughs> for this example, what should I do? I'll do Firefox. I'll change its icon, but I'll keep a copy. So, first off, um, applications aren't really, um, applications. Well, they are, but, uh, what I mean by that is they're kind of folders, but they just, just, if, if you double click on a folder, it'll bring you inside of a folder. But if you double click on an application, um, it'll launch the application. So in order to, um, view the inside of the folder, you're going to have to right click on a Mac. It's control click. Obviously on a Mac, you can't do this on a PC. Uh, well, you can't do it the way we're doing it. Show package content. And that, that'll that open up the folder inside. So now we're inside of the folder Firefox. Uh, like here we're inside applications. Here we're inside Firefox. So I'll take another icon. Then I'll use, I'll use, you know what, Taco HTML. I like it. I like Okay. <coughs> so I'm just going to. Okay, so right now I have two things. Usually, you're just going to see the inside the folder, you're just going to see one folder. It's called Content. And then you're going to see Resources, Mac, and stuff. So right now I have two things, and you see they're very similar. You'll get Info, and you'll get Package Info, or Package Info. And you'll get um, some maybe some code resources, some plugins, Mac OS S, and Resources. Go into Resources, and go into Resources. Usually, resources is gonna have a whole bunch of pictures for <coughs> for um well what's it called that you'll see like here is the mouse cursor for when you're over and a whole bunch of pictures that you'll see in that application so um you'll see the picture for the icon it will always be there <coughs> so I'll just copy that and paste it there I'll copy that and paste it there so let's say you Photoshop something. Okay, so right here I have Firefox.icons or .icns, and I want the taco to be its icon. So I can just <coughs> um here I'll put that I'll make a new folder because you can't have two things in the same folder. I'll just put that in my home directory for now. Okay, <coughs> so now I'm gonna press Enter, press Apple A, copy that name because inside there's code for the thing, so you can't have it any name you want. And you're, I'm going to paste that name there. So now that that's called Firefox.icons, um, ICNS, I can just bring that right into there. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I'll say yes. And if you look at my doc, well, um, my doc didn't change yet. Hold on. <coughs> Quit Firefox. <coughs> so now. I go into applications, I'll go to Firefox, and Firefox has a taco icon. So I'm going to just change it back. For, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys real quickly how to do it. First, you right click on the application. You say, show package content. You'll see a folder called content. Click on that. Go into resources. Look for um the icon it should be dot i c n s and it's usually going to be the name of the application drag the other one that you want in there make sure it has the same name so that's <coughs> how you change your icon i know there's another application that does it for you i think it's called um lollipop or candy shop or something like that lollipop Mac. Well, okay. Well, whatever, but I, I know that I don't like to use that application that much because it doesn't really back it up. And if you have a full a picture that you want to use as an image, it'll use the image icon. So it doesn't work that well for me. Um, um, doesn't back things up. And, um, I just think it's safer to do it this way because you know what you're doing. So, um, Thank you very, very much. I hope this helped and uh, goodbye.